Storm Trucker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. It is cooler right now than it was yesterday at this time. Temperatures are currently in the 40s and the 50s in most locations. And on the Opportunity Bank of Montana Weather Camera, we have had mostly cloudy skies for most of today. And of course, we had some rain around this morning and then we were mostly dry during the late morning, but then we saw a little bit of light rain pass through earlier this afternoon. And taking a look at satellite and radar, we are dealing with rain showers in western Montana, some snow showers along the Continental Divide, as well as along portions of the Rocky Mountain Front. Around the Helena area, most locations are currently dry, but there are some isolated rain showers and even a couple isolated thunderstorms around right now. And there is a good amount of precipitation throughout the Pacific Northwest, and as we go through the next several days, an upper-level trough is slowly going to be working its way eastward, which means more precipitation is expected as we head into tomorrow and this upcoming weekend. Now, as we go through this evening and tonight, western Montana and portions of north-central Montana have the best chance to see precipitation around the Helena area. We're going to have a chance to see a few rain and mountain snow showers, but not really expecting a lot of precipitation. In north-central Montana, there will be some snow around and west of I-15 with a few rain showers in locations east of I-15. Generally prior to midnight, as we get past midnight, that's when we'll start to dry out. We are going to have mostly cloudy skies overnight tonight. For tomorrow, we are going to have mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. During the morning, it will be mainly dry. During the afternoon, that's when we'll start to see a little bit of precipitation developing, especially in the western part of the state. And then as we add into tomorrow evening, that's when rain and snow will become more widespread around the Helena area. And then as we go through tomorrow night, a mixture of snow and rain is likely around Helena. And there will be areas of rain and snow in central and eastern portions of Montana with a mixture of rain and snow also likely in the western part of the state. And then as we go through Saturday, there are going to be areas of snow and rain around for basically the entire day. There is a winter weather advisory in effect for the northern half of the Rocky Mountain front as well as some adjacent locations through 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. One to three inches of new snow accumulation is possible in the lower elevations while up to eight inches of new snow accumulation is possible in the mountains. There is a winter storm watch in effect for the Snowy Mountains and the Judith Mountains in Fergus County from 12 a.m. Saturday until 12 a.m. on Monday. Up to two feet of snow accumulation is possible and winds are going to be gusting as high as 45 miles per hour. It will continue to be breezy this evening, but that wind will diminish as we head into tonight. And then for tomorrow, the wind's not going to be as strong as it was today, but it will be a little bit breezy, especially during the afternoon and the evening, as sustained wind speeds are going to be between 10 and 20 miles per hour. And then as we go through tomorrow night, just a light breeze in most locations, but the wind's really going to pick up as we add into Saturday, especially the second half of Saturday. And gusty winds are expected with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 30 miles per hour, and a few wind gusts over 40 miles per hour are going to be possible at times. Tonight, low temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 30s, so it is going to be a cool night. Tomorrow, high temperatures are going to be topping out in the 40s and the 50s in most locations. And then heading into Saturday, it is going to be a chilly day. High temperatures in the mid to upper 30s and low to mid 40s. And again, a mixture of snow and rain is likely throughout the day. More snow and rain is expected on Sunday with a high temperature of 46 degrees. Some of that precipitation may linger into Monday morning, but as we go through Monday, we are going to dry out and we will clear out and see some sunshine as well. And then warmer temperatures are expected for the middle of next week. Maybe a couple rain showers on Wednesday, but it's also going to be drier for most of next week. In Great Falls, there will be some rain and snow around later on tomorrow with rain and snow likely this week, and it's also going to be chilly for the next several days. But heading into next week, more sunshine, drier conditions, and warmer temperatures.